I'd like to thank you, our officers, for putting together this wonderful show. And thank you, parents, friends, and family, for coming out tonight to support TCO despite the venue change and the time change and this pandemic. We know that these are difficult times to go through, and it might not be a normal school year for TCO. But thanks to all of your support, we have made it through, and we are almost to the end. So now I would like to acknowledge um, our class of 2021 graduates. Seniors, on behalf of the TCO program, I wish you all the success and support in your future endeavors, whatever they may be, and wherever they may take you. So, um, I believe I have a list here of where our seniors are going. Manny Barber, who is not here today, will be attending Valencia College. He is one of our bassists. Please clap. <laughs> Derek Palazzo will also be attending Valencia. He is one of our violinists. <laughs> Ian Crow. One of our cellists will also um, will be attending UCF. <laughs> Tim Du, one of our cellists, will be attending University of Notre Dame. <laughs> Tommy, one of our bassists, will also be attending UCF. Dylan Garcia will be attending my alma mater. He is one of our violinists and he will be attending Florida State University. Ben Howard, one of our other bassists, will be also attending UCF. Daniel Lee will be one of our violinists will be attending Duke. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie Muntley, one of our other violinists, will be attending Stetson University. I'd also like to highlight that Maddie Munley was accepted into all of her universities that she applied for. Um, and she is going into, uh, she is becoming a music major. <laughs> Matt Rochefo, one of our cellists, will be attending Valencia. Henry Shedd, one of our violists, will be attending USF. <laughs> Lean Shaka, one of our violinists, will be attending UCF. <laughs> Rodolfo Sinahan, one of our violists, will be attending Rollins University. Yao Witherspoon, one of our violinists, will be attending Valencia College.
Maddie, Maddie Tubb, one of our violinists, uh, one of our violists, um, will be attending UF Honors. <laughs> Show awards. Due to COVID-19, I will not be distributing them the physical awards tonight, but they will be available in the following week to be picked up in the orchestra room. So our first award is the Timber Creek Orchestra Legacy Award. This award is given to a student who has, who has left an impact on Timber Creek Orchestra's program uh, that will be remembered for years to follow. Our 2021 recipient of the Timber Creek Orchestra Legacy Award is Thomas Fensterma. Our second award is the Director's Award. This award honors the top leaders of high school orchestra for their leadership, character, and musicianship. They help set the bar for excellence, which ultimately determines the orchestra's level of achie uh, achievement and success for the year. It is awarded each year to a senior orchestra student that displays high qualities of dedication and conduct, and is present presented in recognition of the student's outstanding contributions to the music ensemble. This year's recipient is Daniel Lee. tonight for our National School Orchestra Award, as this year we had a tie for the award. This award is the highest honor you can bestow upon a member of the high school orchestra to recognize excellence in playing and contributions to the ensemble. This award recognizes outstanding dedication and superior musicianship and is awarded usually to only one student each year. So I'd like to thank the students for helping me in this year's selections of recipients. Without bias or turning it into a popularity contest, they voted unanimously for these two people. Without further ado, our 2021 recipients of the National School Orchestra Awards go to Madeline Munley and Madison Cho. attention to the projector, I believe it is now dark enough for us to use it. 